Well, there's so many objects up there that I would like to take. Globular clusters, galaxies, nebula. So what do I do when I have a clear night and I don't want to stay up all night? We use scheduling. It's really convenient. Origin will do everything for you. So how do we do that? It's really straightforward. Let me demonstrate it to you on three targets. So the three objects I'm going to choose is in three different ways to show you some options. The first way I want to search for a target is just going to to light. So I can go to view all and I'm going to press here on ring nebula. Here are all the details of ring nebula and down there at the bottom center you'll see a button for schedule. Just click on it and it'll add it to a schedule. That's the first object in our list. Then I'll press on the X again to exit and add the next target. This time I'm going to go on the planetarium and I'm going to just choose an object. In this case, let's choose the Dumbbell Nebula. So I'm just going to zoom in, click on it with my finger and now you can see down there written is Dumbbell Nebula. Let's click on the writing here, Dumbbell Nebula, and then all I need to do here is add to tonight's schedule. And that's exactly what it's done. So let's choose a third object too. In this case, I'm going to search now. And in this case, I'm going to search for the Pelican Nebula. So let's do that. That's the third way of finding objects. And here we are. And I'm just going to go at the bottom again, center, and add it to the night's schedule. And you can see all three objects are there now. So here then is tonight's schedule. You can see some options that we have up there. The first one is we can power down after completion. That's self-explanatory so that we save battery power. And the second one is autofocus after each go-to. That is very useful when you run a long schedule. I'm not going to enable any of them because I'm just going to run three objects right now. We can also go and edit these. I'm going to say edit and you could, if you press here on the red minus sign, it will actually delete that. I won't do that now, but that's fairly easy to do. You can also order the sequence in which the objects are going to run. All you need to do, let's say we want to take the dumbbell first. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to, uh, going to just hold on the dumbbell and just move it up with my finger. It's quite simple. You just hold it and move it up and thereby I have changed the sequence. Okay, and that's fine. I'll say end edit and now we've completed that. So let's go into a sub menu and see what else we can do. If I click on the dumbbell nebula now, you can see that I have the automatic and the default settings on the left and some manual settings on the right. So the first settings that I can change is when the start time is. The start time is usual if the object is visible straight away, that will also be the start time. Otherwise, if it is not visible yet, it will calculate a later start time for you. I won't change that at the moment. What I want to look at is the next row where it says image duration. You can see here it will say an image duration of 10 minutes, which is typical for this type of object. Now I'm going to change this all to one minute so that I can show you the whole procedure. So I'm going to uh, click here on custom and just scroll down here, just this, um, this dial all the way to one minute and that's fine. So I'm going to, that's all I want to edit because the last one is to change the settings uh, more about the exposure, which I don't want to do. I'll go back to the list and I'll do the same for the Ring Nebula. Go to Custom and just change it down to one minute. Go back to my list and finally do the same for... You see, for the Nebula, of course, there's a much longer exposure. Also, just go to one minute. And then I'll show you later also how to download these. So we are finished. And then all we need to do now is just click on Run Schedule now. And off we go. So I'm going to just enlarge the live view so that you can see what's happening now. We're starting off with the Dumbbell Nebula. You can just about see it. And here we go. And it's now moving to the Ring Nebula.
I'm just expanding the view again. So that's the video mode we see at the moment. By the way, you can also skip the targets. You see that? It says skip to next target. I'm not going to do that, but if you wish to skip something, you just press that. And we're done. So I'm just going to say close. Now I'm going to show you where you can actually find your images. So we go now to menu and you can go to images schedules and you'll see tonight's schedule is still the one that we have. Here indeed are all our images and you can see there's a download. So I'm going to download here the ring nebula and then I'm going to download the dumbbell nebula. Just have to be a bit patient. And then finally I'm going to download the Pelican Nebula. And when I've downloaded them, the arrow appears. So let's have a look at them. There's the Dumbbell Nebula. And finally, let's download the Pelican Nebula. And there's the Pelican Nebula. When you want to download your images, and that is especially your RAW files, they are in fact stored on the mount, or to be more precise, on the back of the optical tube where the computer is located you'll find, and that's on the opposite side of the mount arm, there's a small compartment right next to the fan. You can open it easily, and you'll see writings there for LAN, USB 3, and USB 2. So all you need to do is find your appropriate connector and just push in your adapter, and then you can download your images onto a drive. I would also like to show you how to access these single raw files. Those are the images that Origin takes every few seconds and then converts them to a single stacked image. This is particularly useful if you intend to use third-party software for image processing. Go to the menu at the bottom left and click on Settings and then go to Advanced on the left side. Go over to the right side, scroll down and make sure that Save RAW Files, I'm going to click this off and then on again, is enabled. Then let's manage remote files. It's just below the Advanced tab. Click on it and you'll see the Origin Device File Manager. It shows you how much free disk space you have and if the status is OK. It's important that you have enough disk space. So be sure that you can copy all your folders frequently down to the USB stick. Once you've done that, and I will not do that right now because it takes some time, you can delete all the image directories by clicking on the appropriate tab below. When you copy all your folders down to the USB stick, be sure just to click once and to patiently wait because that may take quite some time because you have got several gigabytes to download. Alternatively, you can also go and look at the image folders that you have here and you can click on any of these and you'll see a submenu. For example, I can delete only this image folder or directory I can download the stacked master just as we've done earlier, or I can copy the folder to its USB stick, and we'll do that right now. So if I click on folder to USB, it will start downloading, and you can see the status of copying. So when you reach 100%, the download process is completed. This should actually be all you need to do and hopefully you'll get a good night's rest and good images. Good luck.